Hey friends, it's Rachel from the Ponds Farmhouse, and today I'm going to show you how to do a triple heart um, for Valentine's Day out of, of recycled corks. Um, if you saw my last video, I shared uh, one at the very end of it, and naturally I had a bunch of people ask me about it. So I thought, well, I'll just come on and show it one time so that you can see how to do it. Uh, it's a really, really simple project. You just need a hot glue gun. You need approximately 16 and a half um, corks uh, for each heart, and this is gonna have three on it. Um, you also need um, just a lightweight little uh, dowel rod um, that's at least the length of how long you want your hearts to be. And then also, um, this is just a scrap piece of heavy duty uh, poster board that I already have. See, it doesn't hardly bend at all. You want it very strong. Um, you'll need that to, to kind of put behind them, uh, but you don't need it completely covered. Uh, in fact, I've already cut out my little pattern here. It's just enough so that they're connected. Uh, that's all you're looking for. Um, you're not looking for anything else. And so basically, uh, if I had not already had the ones I had, I would have just uh, waited until I had all the hearts done and then cut this out to kind of go behind it. Uh, but since I'm starting from scratch, I'll, I'll, I'll want to go ahead and show you that. Okay, so what we're gonna do first is uh, you want to divide out your corks so that they, the ones that you're putting together in the heart look somewhat similar, especially the length of them. And so I've already got my 16 out here plus a half ones here already cut in two. And uh, what I'm doing is I'm, for this center one, I'm going to use uh, the corks that have a lot of red wine on them so that it kind of gives it a reddish hue. Um, and so basically what we want to do is we just want to start out at the very bottom and um, what we're going to do is we're just going to put a bead of glue on your uh, first one Whoops. and then you're going to put, put that together. So you're going to have, we're just going to start out just like that. All right, and then we're gonna come right back in beside of that and put another piece right in beside of this top one. So this is gonna be the bottom, and then we're gonna put one right here. So this is the bottom of our heart. So see how simple that is? So we just wanna make sure you got the glue touching where it needs to. All right, so now we're ready to come back in with our next one. So we're gonna put one right dead center here of where we put these. Oops, I'm gonna make sure that they're sticking. Okay, and then we're gonna put one right here, and then we're gonna get another one, and it's gonna go right here. So now, see, we've got three built up, okay? And then we're gonna do another one that's gonna go right here. I've got my hot glue gun so hot, I'm gonna turn it down because it's so hot that they're not wanting to adhere real quickly. So we're gonna put another one kind of in this little valley. Okay, and another one right here. Another one right here. Okay, so now we've got our, we've got four uh, light, uh, levels and now we're working on the fifth. And the fifth one is a little different because we don't wanna fill in the center part. So we're gonna put one right here and then one on the outer edge right here. Same on this next side. Oops, this one's turned upside down. There we go. One more on the outer edge. And then we're gonna come in right here in the center and we're gonna put like a little half of one. So we're just gonna set this, put 
some of the glue on here so that it adheres. And we're gonna stick that right in the center there. And then the last step is just to put the top of the heart together. So let me just kind of show you what we've got going on so far. So we've got, got five rows with a half of one in the center. And then we're going to top it all off with one last row right on the very top of this. Okay, so we've got this one done. This one is completely done, ready to set aside, and we're gonna make um, three more of these. I mean, excuse me, two more of these. finished and um, they all look adorable uh, in their own right um, but they are different because of different wines and if you're not a wine drinker um, you know you can check with any restaurant or bar where they serve wine and I guarantee you that they'll be glad to give you some corks uh, to do these types of projects with. So um, I was running low on any of the ones. These are actually plastic corks, but I did them all together. So it's gonna be fine. Um, they'll still look unique. So what we wanna do now is we've got um, our corks done. This is the right sides of them. And so we're gonna turn them over and I'm gonna set them on the edge of my countertop here so that um, that they're all lined up with their the cork, corks touching here and and that they're even. See, I wanna make sure that they, they look like they're straight. So I'm gonna make sure that I do that. And then I'm looking here at my piece of cardboard that I had already cut. And I need to make sure that it's gonna be hidden behind all of this. And it looks like I'm gonna to need to cut a little bit more out of this center here. And this is a little hard spot to cut, so I'm gonna to try to do that gently. Um, but just get a little bit less um, in there. And then look at it one more time. Okay, I think it's going, whoops, maybe not. That one slipped. Okay, I feel like I need to cut out a little bit more on this little edge here. So you just wanna be sure that it's it, that there's enough of it showing to, um, enough of the cardboard so that it kind of steadies the hearts, but at the same time, you don't want it to show. So every time I look at it, I see another place that I think it might actually um, be showing. This one's not cut deep enough either. Sorry about that. I thought I had done a pretty good job to begin with, but obviously I had a little bit of work to do. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and attach this. So I'm just gonna put quite a bit of glue all over the back of, um, of this. You need to do it fairly quickly because you don't want it to dry up on you before you get it on there. Okay, and then I'm gonna turn it back over and we're gonna go ahead and put it onto the back of these hearts. And we we'll wanna make sure that they are still even and straight as we do this. So it doesn't take long for the hot glue to adhere, so that makes it an easier project. Okay, then the last thing I'm gonna do, just to give it a little bit more of a steadiness, uh, to be sure that we've got it uh, where we want it, is I'm gonna put just a little bit of this uh, wooden dowel rod onto it. And again, I'm just kind of making sure that I know where I want to put it. And this is a small one, so I'm just using my scissors to kind of 
to score it a little bit first. And then, there we go. And what, again, what I'm gonna do is put a bead of glue across here to lay it on. Hopefully I'm getting it straight enough <laughs> that it's gonna actually adhere to it. Okay, get the little hairs out of the way. And ta-da, we have a standing heart that you could put on a shelf or anywhere that you wanted to put it. You saw the one that I put beside of my um, uh, dough bowl uh, arrangement from the other day, but this holds it real, real steady, and now it's cute to sit, like I said, on a shelf anywhere that you want to use it. So I hope you enjoyed that. So here they are finished up. This is the new one. This is the one I already had here. So you can see you can do them different ways. I have these kind of like a mix of the different colors where I tried to keep these together, but any way works. Just be creative with it. It's a lot of fun and it's a great way to get rid of those um, wine corks. <laughs>